Hi everyone, so let's have a look at this third one then. So it's a histogram, and if you remember, the frequency is the area, isn't it? So let's have a think about this one then. So this is what, 10 by 3.1 would you say? Yeah, so that area is 31. So then this one would be 20 by 2.2. So 44, which really put the, uh, the thing in chunks are 10 times 3.1, 20 times 2.2. So this is what, 30 by 0 0.9 to give 27. Uh, and this one is, what is it, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 by, uh, is it not 0.3, I wonder, to give 18. So the median is the one with the biggest value, so that has to be this one here. So it says identify the class which contains the median, so that would be 10, less than or equal to 2, less than. 30. There. There we go. Is that alright? That's quite straightforward, isn't it? Oosh, do I stop this? I'm going to keep going and try and rush to do this fourth one in the time we've got. So we've got how many between what? How many between what? 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 6. So 1, 2, 3 is here, and 1, 2, 6 is here. So I'm actually breaking it down from two bars. So I've got one bar which is 1, 2, 3, to 1, 2, one, two 4 and a half. Oh, I can't even read that, can you? So 1, 2, 3 to 1, 2, 4 and a half. If I read the height of that, then it's about 4.7. And then I've got another one, which is a little bar going from one, two, four and a half to one, two, six. And I think that bar is about 0.8 high. So if I work out the area of those and add them together, so I've got, uh, what's it going to be? 4.7 times one and a half plus a 0 0.8 times one and a half. So that gives me a frequency of 8.25. And I think that's it for that lesson. So that's not too bad, is it? Right, see you later. Bye-bye. Uh,